Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install WordPress on Windows 10 operating system. This is my XAMPP. So I assume that you already have XAMPP installed. You can see I'm going to run Apache MySQL Server, which is basically MariaDB on this XAMPP. And now I can go to PHPMy admin. Okay, now what we are going to require is WordPress instance that we can download from WordPress.org. So go to WordPress.org in your preferred browser and then click Get WordPress on the right tab. And this is WordPress 6.2, which recommends PHP 7.4 and above, MySQL 5.7 and above mariadb 10.3 or greater okay so that's all you need and you also need a server okay server is basically a, that runs php code so that could be apache or nginx doesn't matter so once you are here you simply click on download and this shouldn't take long time you can also read the installation guide on this same page there is a link here so it takes you to developer advanced how to install wordpress basic instructions okay so you can read if you are curious how things work and this is what we are going to say utf8 mb4 general ci and localhost okay pretty straightforward and simple alrighty so in the meanwhile our wordpress seems to be installed so you would require a database for this installation so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a database using phpMyAdmin. And you can see it, it has already selected UTF-8 MB4 underscore general underscore CI. And here you can type the database name. So I'm going to say WP62. That's going to be the database name. And on this phpMyAdmin, we have the database of one user. And the host is basically local host. You can see here. The server host and you can also see the wordpress 6.2 seems to be installed i can go ahead and open in the folder wherever this is installed i can unzip it so i'm using 7-zip you can extract all if you're using if you don't have any zipper and zipper installed on your system Oh, oh sorry so i'm going to delete this one i just need to unzip it so without the zip and so you can see this just unfolded it to this particular folder now what i can do i will have to go to the so i will cut it okay i will cut it and then go to this PC, this C drive, the, wherever your XMP is installed, and then locate HD docs and put that, paste that extracted folder. Apology, here we have. So under this, we have WordPress. So what we need to do, we simply need to go ahead and what I will do, I will just cut it again. So right click and cut it because that's an extra folder there so and then i will remove it so very straightforward i downloaded the wordpress zip folder unzipped it and cut that from the downloads folder and paste it in the htdocs of hxm and just got out of that 
folder and created a simple folder that says WordPress. Now I can rename it to whatever I want. So I'll make it WP62. And now this folder can be accessed from localhost. So you simply go to localhost and the folder name, whatever name you have given. In my case, it is 6 uh, WP6.62, not point. And then you should get this installation script running. You have to select this your language of choice. I'm going to select English of United States. Click continue and this is going to ask for the database name, username, password and host table prefix. So we already have created a database. Now we can simply click on let's go and so database name if you remember i call it wp62 username on xmp is root unless you've created a password there isn't a password for the root i'm going to keep the table prefix as it is and going to say submit so there's no password on my system run the installation everything seems to be working now it's installed it is asking for the site title so i'm going to name it wp62 username is going to be wp62 again wp62 the password as well <laughs> i will have to confirm the confirm the use of week password and wp62 at admin.com that's my email address and hit install wordpress whoa you can see we got it up and running so i can just go ahead and log in type in my wp62 and username and password remember it and then hit login so here we have wordpress 6.2 welcome to wordpress 6.2 and you can learn a lot about this so what it gives you it gives you theme hmm, 2023 and two extra themes so 2021 2022 and if you go to plugins section you got these two plugins installed if you don't require them you can simply delete them okay all right guys so this is how you can install wordpress on your local system so this video is the first video in the series of wordpress development in the next coming videos i will show you how you can create your own theme wordpress theme it's classic theme okay classic theme and then the latest uh, json based json powered uh, block based theme and then we will create one simple simple plugin that does something so you will learn to create a few plugins and also we will learn to create the blocks reusable blocks uh, in plugin with plugins apart from that we will learn how to create custom post types in wordpress and much more so stay tuned please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you for watching again bye for now